tether you to the yeah. side of it. Wow. It feels safe. Right. And there, it's smooth on the way up there. The view, I bet the palms are sweaty, though. No, well, I mean, it's high up. You yeah. know, I was doing a story, so I was kind of distracted right away. Then all of a sudden, we're over the highest point. And you're like, oh, don't think dang, about it. this is <laughs> beautiful. I'm oh, literally on top of this tram car. Yeah. Like, there's no walls around Oh, it me. was cool. That must have been an amazing ride. I had some morning showers and thunder showers around Clayton. They've weakened here for the most part. Uh, just a few sprinkles right now around Clayton. But outflows off of those storms, you can see this line right here of blue working to the south and west. Did spark a fresh crop of thunder showers just east of Fort Sumner, weakening as they chug west. But it looks like Fort Sumner and a little stretch of the Pecos River there going to get rained on early this morning. We're dry in Albuquerque, some patchy clouds. Sun is up from behind the Sandias. Heat's going to stay switched on this weekend. Monsoon storm chances, though, uh, they make a return for a lot of us. And next week looks active. Uh, that will help to ease the heat today. Any chance at storms favors eastern and southern New Mexico for the afternoon and evening hours. Uh, look at the pronounced north to south storm motion. Storms on the Sandias and the Manzanas could kick wind our way in the Albuquerque Metro late. Otherwise, we're dry. Albuquerque West, Gallup Grants up towards the Four Corners area one more time. Uh, the storms in northeast New Mexico could produce damaging wind gusts and large hail. A general settling of skies expected overnight. Clouds hold over southeast and south central New Mexico, and there are some spots that don't get below 70 for the overnight lows. Uh, moisture gets west of the Sandias and the Manzanos, so an isolated chance. Santa Fe, Albuquerque, still probably dry in the four corners, but everybody else with the chance of an isolated or scattered storm Saturday. Sunday, drying out far eastern New Mexico, scattered to isolated storms for the state's midsection, and finally getting back into the four corners area by Sunday evening, we think as well. Here's the seven day forecast. We're dry one more time. A Scorcher for the Metro at 95. Watch for some windy conditions late. Slight chances of storm Saturday, Sunday, Monday, staying hot through that time period. Tuesday, the most active day of the next seven, and we've got the heat easing into the middle of next week.